I've been making YouTube videos on the domain for 12 years now, and I just surpassed a wild number of 1,500 videos total uploaded to this channel, which is not just me. There's also been great content creators helping on this channel in the past, but now it is just me straight ahead as the future is more uncertain than ever in so many different ways. So I've been thinking long and hard. I've been having some good big thinks, and I just want to tell you where I'm up to and a lot of big updates to do with my channel, to do with Mega, to do with so many other things and generally just like a shared vision that I have going forward and a sort of mission statement on what I want this channel to become over the next year or two. So I really hope you stick with it. First of all, um, you know, this channel has been doing super well recently, not in terms of like wild monthly views because I've stopped doing short form content. So the views have been down on that, but the engagement in general and the actual views on long form videos have been like the best I've seen in the last couple of years. So I thank you so much for that. It has been a wild time in my life. Let me just tell you the, one of the most transformative, um, four or five months that I could have possibly seen. I moved back to England after living abroad for six and a half years last year, and I've been doing YouTube full time on less than minimum wage for over two years. And the dog is gonna, don't get in the trash there. No, you can't have the trash, Betty. It's not for you. So basically I've been um, on a wild ride, particularly the last couple of months. Seven weeks ago, I made a video saying, am I ready to quit YouTube? It was not clickbait. It was absolutely, I was on the last of my tether, um, ready to quit because I haven't been able to make this financially viable in two years. I've tried so many different other YouTube channels so much, and I desperately, desperately just want to continue down this road in life. I believe that even if Halo content creation, it's obviously not going to be my end goal in life, but it is everything that I'm passionate about. I love making videos. I love editing. I love everything about this job, except for the fact that it, does, it doesn't pay well, but I've been transforming that recently in a lot of different ways. And I'm building something that I hope will be very, very transformative for myself and for this community in the future. But really, I, um, yeah, I was in a very dark place at the beginning of this year. I uh, felt um, the cold, grasp of depression uh, for one of the first times in my life and uh, I almost succumb succumb to it um, and it was it was pretty brutal and I um, made a lot of really big choices in life and pushed my way out of it with every fiber of my being and I'm on the other side now and I would love to try and have this open conversation in the future about the advice I can give people as well because the fact of the matter is no matter how you look at it a very, very, very large percentage of people out there have um, serious mental problems uh, going on, mental issues. It, it is a very, very strange timeline we live in, and I would like to be able to be a guiding light in any way that I can with that. Also, look at my new best friend. This guy is so great. I've always wanted one of these, an original promotional cardboard cutout from Halo 5. Picked it up in London. I got a great video coming out about that. I got some other really epic videos, um, some really cool collabs with Mega. I can say for certain that I have signed on for another year with Mega, so I'm going to be working with them again. I know the amount of content that has come out related to my um, sort of relationship with Mega has been limited. It is a complicated beast, something that I can't really talk about that well, but um, it is something that I hope is going to see leaps and bounds of improvements uh, soon, very soon, actually. So hold tight for that. There are still, like, there is still about 16 videos that I filmed last July at the Mega Studio that um, have not seen the light of day, so I really hope they can come out, and I really hope you can see them. There's one where I literally show you guys how to sculpt a Mega figure um, at the office, like how they actually sculpt their figures, which is obviously something that I'm sure most of you have always wanted to see. So, that's one thing. What I have decided with this YouTube channel is uh, particularly after going into short form content, I dedicated about 90 days of my life to upload, maybe a bit less, to upload a short form video every single day to see how, like, to learn about it, but also to see how I could grow the domain. And let me tell you, I'll go into detail about this in a future video, but short form content, 
crushed my soul. It broke me into pieces. The views and the engagement is so sporadic. The amount of engagement is actually very low. You can have a video with 100,000 views and 10 comments. And um, the whole thing just makes you feel like a cog in a machine that nobody values your content and that you are just... Um, just like a slave to an algorithm that is quite literally impossible to understand. You know, when I, even when I made long form videos, when I upload a video and it performs twice as well as the previous video, I can say, okay, was that the title? Was that the content? Was that the actual theme? Was that the description of the video? Did I put tags in the title or the description or in the tags bar? And did I use enough or did I use too few? Or did I upload at the right time of day on the right time zone? And you realize after a while that there is basically no understanding it. And I have, with all my soul, with all my heart and being, rejected it, just cast it away. From this point forward, I am never going to really check the YouTube analytics because they don't matter. Because at the end of the day, you get just um, engrossed in this, this fear of like never uploading enough, never performing well enough, and you lose complete and total sight of why you are making videos in the first place, which is what I am now going back to. You can see, if people have been paying attention, the quality of my videos over the last like few weeks, pretty much the last six, seven weeks since I made that Am I Ready to Quit YouTube video has skyrocketed. Like I have started just focusing on one video every weekend. I missed this weekend, I'm sorry. One, I was bartender for four days straight. Um, one video every weekend and pretty much nothing else. Occasionally like some of these talking pieces, like once or twice a week, but really one super high quality, high edited, glossy export video every weekend. And you can see the quality difference when I'm not worried about the analytics, when I don't care. Like I am literally not clicking the YouTube studio dashboard from now on. I mean, that's a bit of a hyperbole, but basically that's what I'm gonna do. I am completely rejecting it because it's so unhealthy. Mentally, it's so unhealthy. I upload videos um, to fit a US time frame. So I upload videos at about 10 p.m., 11 p.m. UK time because that is the best time for engagement in America because 85% uh, of my audience is American, something like that. So when I upload a video, I go to sleep. And then the next morning I wake up and the first thing I want to do, when the second I turn my eye, like open my eyes, turn my eyes on, the first thing I want to do when I open my eyes in the morning is check YouTube studio. And I, I used to do it. And let me tell you, when you like check the studio and you see that it's one of your most underperforming videos of the month, even though you put a lot of effort into it, and it says people swiped away from this video and viewed it less, that is your intrinsic worth for the day. You wake up and that's your worth for the rest of the day. And I've come up with a load of coping mechanisms, particularly I don't check my phone until about like 8.30 a.m. I get up at seven and I don't really, I try to not check any DMs until 8.30 a.m., which is way better. Um, but there's loads of other things I'm doing, particularly the analytics don't matter anymore. I've decided wholeheartedly, the only thing I wanna care about in terms of this YouTube channel now is making quality content that not just celebrates the brand, I think it used to be all about celebrating the brand, but now it's about archiving this brand and making sure that this brand is not forgotten about because I don't know anything more than you do, right? Halo Mega is not canceled, it isn't. Um, but you can see that there are warning signs um, on the horizon and things that uh, are quite un unsettling. The removal of the mega unboxed website a week after the removal of megaconstructs.com, I have a lot more to say about that uh, because it is not acceptable. I, even for making thumbnails or bringing in picture assets for my videos, I'm pulling pictures from at an old Amazon listing that's 10 years old instead of the actual source, which is very, very infuriating for me. I can't get hold of any of the PNGs that I used to be able to get hold of. So that is really concerning and I have more to say about that in the future. I wanna be a lot more open. I really enjoy these sort of just, I, 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 don't, I don't really ever edit these. I wanna try and just do them in one take so they're totally authentic. But um, yeah, totally unacceptable. So what I wanna do, basically, is I have been buying up uh, original sealed Halo Mega Block sets. 
as many as I can get. And I'm trying to get a pretty full collection. So if you have sealed Halo Mega Block sets that you don't need, hit me up, especially if you're in the UK. And if you are in the UK, hit me up in the uh, comment section down below because we have a private uh, buy sell trade group for UK members uh, because it's so hard to get sets here. Um, but yeah, buying up original sealed sets and I am going to, from this point onwards, dedicate my YouTube channel almost exclusively to the archiving and preservation of original Halo Mega Blocks. And I'm talking all of it, baby. I'm talking every last morsel. I'm gonna be opening every original blind bag series. I'm planning to make a video where I open every single blind bag that has ever been released in one video. And slowly but surely, I am going to be reviewing and opening every single <laughs> original set. I know that's a massive goal. Maybe I won't get to every single set, but I am going to try my absolute hardest to be, op to be opening, to open every original Halo Mega Block set for archival purposes so you can see and feel and experience what they originally were like. I wanna be making videos talking through entire years and like one by one, like this is every set from 2009. This is every set from 2010. This is every chase variant. This is every alternate packaging variant. I want to do it all. And it's a massive task and I probably won't be able to do it all um, because I still to this point have not found out a way to make this totally financially solid. But uh, that's where I'm going to be coming to you guys, not in any kind of like... Um, I don't know, give me, give me your money or I'll stop making content. Not like that, but um, I'm commissioning a lot of really beautiful like sticker designs, uh, custom prints from different Instagrammers. I want to be building a website that I'm going to be launching and I hope my battery's not going to go. If you see a cut in this video, it's because my battery went, but I'm going to be launching a website, hopefully at the end of this year, um, which is going to be an all-encompassing place where I can sell, uh, you know, my merchandise, my um, buy, sell, trade stuff. You know, I buy up a lot of stuff and I resell it. That's kind of what I do. Um, but also have featured sections for other verified sellers. Maybe a totally all-encompassing place, if I can build it to the extent that I want, that can have archived informations and forums for Halo collectibles and verified sellers that can also sell on there. SDL files that can be sold on there, 3D printers. Maybe you can upload images of your Spartan and book out a custom painter to make your Spartan. I have a lot of ideas and I'm hoping that the domain is some way that I can channel all of this together in one all-encompassing place. And um, through that, I'll be able to support myself because what I wanna do is dedicate myself to making these videos. But to do that, I have to actually have this as a financially viable option, uh, which is close. It's it, We're getting there um, and it's all thanks to you guys. But um, I just wanna say, you know, I, um, I have really, really, really struggled to um, sort of be motivated for YouTube for quite a long time. It's been a couple of years where I, I've just been pushing the content out as best I can. A lot of the time to feed the algorithm and to make those numbers go up because it's my only, you know, it's it's how I make my living. But um, I also bartend now, which is cool. But um, I've been solely unmotivated to make content for a long time and it reached a peak in January, February, March. And then I was ready to quit when I made that video on May 1st, I was ready. Um, but the rally cry behind me um, from the community, um, it just like set like a, a fire in my heart um, to, to, to quote uh, the wise words of Esherim. Um, no, I've just like, it's, it's crazy to me. Uh, and I, I actually reflect on this every single day that I was ready to quit, like literally on the doorstep, ready to quit. And then it just like something clicked inside my brain. And since then, I've just been so fiercely motivated. Um, and I've been doing a lot of other things, you know, bartending takes up two days of my week and um, I, I moved back to the country. So I'm trying to establish myself and everything costs money and I'm trying to make friends and, you know, everything is, is intense. 
Um, and I got big trips planned to America back for the World Championship Series and back for some very poor Megablox financial decisions in America, which you will find out about soon, um, and over to China. Um, and I have, I have a lot of plans, but um, I was so ready to quit. I, I just had to. And then um, the rally cry from this community just lit a fire in, in my heart that um, I, I haven't, it just hasn't simmered down. And all of the videos I put out, if you haven't watched my content for a while, just watch the last like five or six. Something's different, man. Something just feels different about the edit, about the passion that I'm putting in. And I want that passion to go into, uh, you know, the archival of these legacy products that people are going to forget about. People are not going to be able to find the information in the future. If people like me, Demarcation Media, the Janus Key Project, that box is about to fall apart. Oh my goodness, I should not have tried to get the biggest one out single-handedly. Oh, that's a, that's a box that is about to die. But um, yeah, it's, it's up to the community now to preserve and archive these things. And I'm gonna be talking more about that very soon. But um, that's about what I had to say. Basically, I've hit a turning point in my life. Also, um, I've been going to the gym five days a week for three months, and it's done a world of good for me um, mentally. But um, yeah, basically, this community just lit a fire back in my heart, and I can see the warning signs, and I know we have to act now to preserve and archive all of this and uh, preserve these communities. Because even if the brand did die, which it's not going to, but even if it did, this community would still stand. It would still be standing. People still adore this product. You look at things like Destiny Mega Constructs and Call of Duty Mega Constructs that still have a loyal community, but they just weren't around for long enough and they don't have established places for their community. Halo will always have that. And I think we'll always continue as long as we have each other. So, um, yeah. Also, shout out to Demarcation Media for sending this over. Um, an unreleased Halo Mega Construct Spartan. We still know nothing about this figure, um, but he, yeah, he sent it over to me because he's an absolute god tier uh, YouTuber. <laughs> so go watch Demarcation Media. All right. Domain, signing off. Thank you so much for the support. Let me know how you feel about all this down below. I'll see you next time. Peace out.